for the people who can't be bothered to keep up with this continuously changing world. Here's January's IRL patch notes. The month started with this woman in Myanmar making an easy dance experience guide while a military coup was taking place in the background. The entire server was immediately taken over by the nation's military faction after embarrassing poll results revealed their unquestionable unpopularity. Needless to say, enacting a forced takeover did not make them any more popular. Later in the month, the US server was hit by a teaser for the planned climate change update, which saw the region of Texas in particular unequipped to handle such a harsh weather event. Mass blackouts followed closely behind the arrival of the snowstorm, and elected officials were quick to react by baselessly blaming the renewable energy skill tree, or temporarily server hopping to Mexico, until the status effects wore off. A player-created report was also published, which showed that democracy worldwide was nerfed from previous years. The Economist Democracy Index once again ranked countries from most to least democratic, with the S tier mostly consisting of Northern Europe, as well as a few countries with the Commonwealth bonus. The A tier was again mostly made up of European nations, with a handful of South American and Asian servers snagging some of the top places. The bottom tier was mostly made up of servers in the African region, which the developers keep forgetting to update. Both France and the United States fell down to B-tier after nerfs to both their function of government and political culture downgraded their status to partial democracies. North Korea is unsurprisingly in last place and has been in dire need of a rework since the server was split during the Cold War expansion. In other news, the NASA Guild of Science Mains have landed their newest rover on Mars, which is stated to come with updated audio and visual recording equipment, extremely sophisticated instruments to collect data, and a helicopter attachment, which has a setup time of 10 full days, which for reference, is roughly the time it takes to update Black Ops Cold War. The aim of the mission is to find signs of intelligent life beyond our own starting planet, as science mains have come to the consensus that this has become a scarce resource on our own home planet. RGB lighting was not confirmed to be a feature of the new rover. While this was going on, the daughter of the ruler of the Dubai region was found to be imprisoned by her father after her last escape attempt failed. Human rights clans have called for her release citing serious decades-long griefing charges. However, many players have pointed out that with the slavery meta still being quite popular in Dubai, it is unlikely that heavily compensated moderators in the region will be inclined to make any positive changes for anyone outside of the exclusive royalty faction. The Australian server, best known for its high-level wildlife, and the Great Emu War, on patch 19.32, became the battleground for the big tech faction of Facebook and the traditional media alliance. The TMA complained to moderators that Facebook was not paying them for the privilege of hosting their content, so in response, the tech company decided to simply remove all Australian news from their platform. Facebook later stated that the traditional media alliance have not properly modified their business model skill trees to the current news meta, however, players are yet to hear a reply from the TMA as they main too hard into Facebook in the first place. At the same time, Alexei Navalny underscore GigaChat is sentenced to three years for illegally tanking a poison crit. Democracy nerfs in Hong Kong lead to a reduced player base on the server, and the US server widens its lead in the COVID-19 world event.